Hey everybody, Tim here from the Tactical Defender and I have the Thunderhead Rain Jacket from EMS. I had it for, I want to say about nine months, give or take. Use it mostly during the cold and even winter months. This is actually my second version of this jacket. The first one I had for seven years and I used it a lot until it literally fell apart on me. And you're probably asking, well, if the other one fell apart, why did you go buy another one? Let's talk about that today. Okay, so this is the EMS for Eastern Mountain Sports Thunderhead Rain Jacket. This is actually my second one in seven years. The other one lasted seven years, roughly. My wife and I purchased them at the same time. She doesn't wear hers as much as I wear mine, so hers still looks brand new, and it looks fantastic and performs the way it should. Now, my other one, believe it or not, fell apart, literally fell apart. The problem is, and I, I since threw it out when I got this one, but all around the collar, everything in here basically got worn, like the inner layer came off and got like horribly stained. No matter how often I wash it, it just would not come out and then eventually all fell apart due to a lot of heat and sweat because unlike most likely a lot of people that wear rain jackets, I literally wear this year round and a lot during the cold weather like today and throughout the winter time. I will wear my black fleece. I zip that up and then I put something like this. This more for me is like a shell. I wear it over that and I am very toasty, very warm and certainly dry. I will get heated up and get a little sweaty inside, but quite honestly, I never ever get cold. You're probably wondering, as well as I've been asked before, well, if the other one did that and literally fell apart on you, why would you get another one? And the truth is, as I already mentioned, it literally lasted seven years, and I wasn't easy on it. I wore that year round. Rain, no rain. Today, I mean, it's really a dark, cloudy day, they're saying no rain, but normally I would have a fleece because it's roughly about 45 today. Today I just have a, a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, a thin uh, sweatshirt, long sleeve. I wear this and I am perfectly comfortable. It may or may not rain. It looks like it's going to rain, although they said no rain today. For seven years, the jacket cost me $89. For seven years, it worked flawlessly. It really did. All year long a lot in the winter. I wear it mostly in the winter, late fall throughout the winter, and I just could not be happier with it. So for another eight, 90 bucks, I think we got this actually on sale for close to 50, believe it or not. Absolutely, I'll drop $50 at EMS on another one. My only issue is two things. One, they don't come in uh, a lot of colors. The green, I don't like. The red, no thank you. The blue is okay. I would like more, and I don't know why EMS, Mountain Hardware, North Face don't do this. I would like more uh, neutral, earth tone colors. The green is disgusting. It's a horrible green they do have, and they don't have tan or brown, at least not in this particular jacket. And this is the hunt. Thunderhead rain jacket, if I already didn't say so. I'm not a big fan of black, although I do find a lot of my cold weather gear, hats, jackets, are all black. Maybe there's a reason for that, maybe there isn't. Um, I don't have many tan jackets or brown jackets or even tan or brown hats, uh, winter, winter hats. But it is a great jacket. I mean, I really do like it. The colors, the lack of earth tone colors is one problem. The other problem is the zippers or zipper pulls. Now, it does have YKK zippers. My other jacket, my wife's jacket in seven years, never had a zipper come undone, break, reverse zip, nothing like that at all. They are YKK, which I, I am very impressed with, but they are the smallest 
YKK zippers I've ever seen, and I'm not sure if you can see that. I mean, they are small. I'll show you a little bit later in the video a better picture. And then it's got this little tiny pull. With gloves, not great to grab. I actually plan on, and I never did it with the other one because I think the zippers were larger. I do plan on cutting off this little tab and making my own little paracord, just a, a paracord with a knot a little bit bigger, and uh, and I'll put that on there. And with gloves, when I'm out in the winter time, late fall, it won't be a problem uh, at all. Okay, I do want to read from you from their website what they actually say about this jacket. It's kind of odd. Maybe you can answer this for me. I apologize. I am I, once again fighting a cold, and uh, my voice is a little hoarse, but. For the EMS Men's Thunderhead Winter uh, Rain Jacket, they wrote, Our best-selling rain jacket, the Thunderhead features waterproof, breathable system 3 technology to keep you dependably dry in any rainstorm. Good. And they do. They do. The updated in interior print provides more next-to-skin comfort. And the athletic fit is less bulky, lightweight, and well ventilated. The Thunderhead is the perfect for is perfect for hiking, backpacking, and a wide variety of outdoor activities. Now, I can tell you that the other one, and now I don't know, I I call it the previous model, but I don't know if it went by another name. I'm gonna say it didn't, and it was also called the Thunderhead. This is the new version. I've had this less than a year. I got it during the spring, I do believe. The other one had white interior. Bad idea, at least for me anyway, bad idea. This one is kind of like a, uh, a gray, a light gray, but gray, and it kind of has a, um, a, a carbon fiber pattern look to it. And uh, I like it. it. Now, it does feel the exact same as the other one, but the other one was just white. Really a bad idea, at least for me anyway. I like the, the gray. Medium, not really too light. It is a nice color. YKK zipper, zipper tracks, taped seams. I really like that. It does have armpit zippers. You can open up. I have used those many, many times. I can assure you, and they go, they're wide. They go from here down here, I mean, they, they, they're big and they work. They work very well. They do vent very well. I've never gotten wet in it. The only reason why I was wet was because of sweat. I was so warm and it's because I'm hiking, I'm carrying my 50 pound backpack, camera equipment, tripod, all this stuff. And um, I build up a sweat. And I can honestly say I've never ever been cold, ever because of this, just wearing this. On really nasty cold days, I do have a bigger winter jacket, but I'll wear everything the same underneath. I will abandon this and go to that. But for the most part, 99% of the, 95% of the time, I'm wearing this. Now, back to what they said. Next to skin, it does have very big, I'm sorry if you can't see that, really big, pockets you can put gloves in there you can almost put a uh, yes you can a touch pad i don't know if you'd want to but you can next to skin comfort i don't get that i don't understand maybe you can share something with me who goes out with nothing on underneath the rain jacket i i just i don't get it I don't get that. I just don't get that. Maybe I'm just, I'm not thinking correctly because I'm on cold medicine. I don't know, but I always wear a shirt, a tank, a, a t-shirt, sweatshirt, a fleece, because I, like I said, I wear it in the winter. Um, I don't know. I don't know. But if you know why, please tell me down below, okay? It does have a large, generous hood in the back. It does have... A bungee, a cord with a lock, you can pull it so it pulls back the sides. I prefer to wear a hat so it kind of keeps this from falling over my eyes. You can tighten this down. Again, it's got cords or cord locks. You can tighten this down 
I mean, and it really is. I still got, I, I have bad side vision as it is, but I mean, I, I can see, I really do like this, especially with a hat on, it kind of keeps it from falling over my eyes. When I have my fleece on, my zipper, I'm, I'm not kidding, I'm really toasty and warm. It does have an elastic, you see there, and it also has that right there. I like them loose, I don't like them tight, I like them loose. Now, it is right now 44, 45 degrees. I just got out here a little while ago, again, started late today. 45 degrees, I have a t-shirt, a real thin t-shirt, and a Carhartt long sleeve shirt. And this, and I'm warm. When I was hiking over here, I kind of started building up a sweat. I get over here, I open this up, and I actually feel, I feel good. I, I, I'm not kidding, it's such a great jacket. I'm not a big EMS fan. I really like um, the outdoor stores like that, but as you know me, I like more tactical looking stuff. Um, I don't consider myself military or operator-ish, but I kind of like that look better. It's just me, that's just the way I am. I know black doesn't uh, blend in out here at all. Um, I really wish these came in another color, but for $80, $90 without a sale, but with a sale in a coupon code like my wife did have, it's, it's, this has been a while now, um, $50, if this lasts a year, it's well worth the money. If it lasts another seven years, again, well worth the money. I mean, the sewing as always is really very good. Tape seams, it is such a really nice jacket. Let me just show you on the inside. Hopefully the camera will get this. But there is the design. You can see there the tape seam. And hopefully the camera's showing the design as well as the, the color of gray that it is. And like I said, the other one was white. White. That looked terrible. Terrible. Let's show... I'm sorry. Here is the zipper. Here's my hand. I mean, it is, to me, that is a small zipper. Hopefully you can see that. That is a small zipper and they got this little, I mean, you know, if you've been watching my channel for a while, I'm not a little man, that's, there's no doubt about it. I, I got big, I got big hands. That is a very little zipper pull. I get two fingers on there. I want a little bit more than that. I want two, maybe three fingers on there. I know I'm not going to hang from it and swing from a tree. I get that. I would like a little bit more than that. Now, does it do what they designed it to do? Absolutely. I'm sure they weren't planning on me, Tim out in the woods in the winter time, all bundled up with this and with gloves and trying to operate camera equipment, tripod, backpack, guns, knives, and deal with my zippers. I would like something bigger, very minor. I don't think there's gonna be a jacket you can find with something that I'm looking for. So I will put some paracord on there uh, for myself. Again, so I am most likely not the normal person they were thinking in mind that's going to be using their jacket. Maybe they, maybe they were, maybe they're not. I am out in the winter. I want to be as light as I possibly can. <laughs> I know, that's, that's a lot to think about. Um, I have a, a heavy, a 50, minimum 50, sometimes a little less, most often a little bit more. I carry a lot of gear, a lot of tripod, camera equipment, batteries, knives, first aid kit, food, drinks, that sort of stuff. I know I'm missing a couple things, and then whatever I'm bringing into the woods to test or review and make a video of. When I have my Rush 511 Rush 72 backpack on, I'm not bunched up underneath it. I don't feel like I'm gonna walk like, you know, the Pillsbury Doughboy, even though I may look like the Pillsbury Doughboy. It is very comfortable. Personally, EMS, if you see this, you probably won't, but if you see this, my advice is whatever color's on the outside, put that on the inside. 
That's just my, my advice. Whatever color you have on the outside, put it on the inside. If that's not an option, I like the gray. Go with as dark as you possibly can get. All right. I really appreciate you watching this video, everybody. This is the EMS Thunderhead jacket. Great jacket. And uh, if you know of another one similar that you like, write it down below. I like to look around. I'm always looking for new stuff. And uh, if you have one and you like it, I want to know. If you have one and you don't like it, I'd like to know why. Write it down below. As always, I really appreciate everybody. you watching my videos. Get out as often as you can. Enjoy the outdoors. Winter's coming. I'll still be out, but I know a lot of people go out less in the winter. We'll talk soon, okay? Bye.